Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series on AI tools for education. In this video, we're taking a look at Quizzes AI Tools. You can access the full list of all of the AI tools, videos, and links at bit.ly slash Kurtz dash AI tools. All right, so quizzes is not a new tool. So quizzes has been around for a long time. You may have used quizzes. It's a great way to be able to generate quizzes and lessons to get students you know, interacting. It's, it's a great, great, great tool. What we're looking at is that they've recently added AI. They've baked AI right into quizzes. And basically what it will do is two main things at the moment. It'll help you create quizzes. So you can basically say, here's my topic, here's my you know, link to an article, here's a video, whatever the case is. And it will generate a quiz for you using AI. And then after the quiz has been generated, AI can enhance the questions. You can go in and say, okay, let's adjust these questions. And there's a lot of AI options for doing that. So let's go ahead and take this for a spin. Uh, so for my um, uh, uh, examples here, let's say we want to, you know, create something um, with AI. Uh, look at, let's look at the options we have here and then we'll pick one of these uh, that we'll try. So notice here under the create with AI, first of all, we've got a create with YouTube option, which basically means we can just put in a link to a YouTube video. Um, and so this would allow you to grab a, a link from a YouTube video. It doesn't have to be just YouTube though. It's really any link from the web. So it could be like a, just a website as well. So an article, if the students are reading an article, you paste in the link and quizzes is going to jump out and grab that content, pull that in, and then it's going to build the quiz off of that. Now, if instead of using a link, other options, you can also do the use an existing document uh, approach where you can upload a file or grab something from your Google Drive. So this will work with PDFs or Word docs or PowerPoints or Google Drive files. And again, it will read in the content from that file and then it will build a quiz off of that. And then the uh, other option is the add a topic approach where basically you can just put in a topic, say, okay, we're learning about photosynthesis. You know, you could just put in the topic, pick the grade level and boom, let it go and it will generate it. Or you can actually paste in an excerpt of text. If you have, you know, up to 10,000 characters, we can paste in there. You can have an article or something out of your textbook, put that right in and it will generate the quiz. For our example today though, let's just go with a video link. I think I've got a link here I'm gonna copy. It's, um the uh, Crash Course Kids website, um, or the, the Crash Course Kids YouTube channel. Uh, this is a YouTube video on uh, food webs, I believe. So I'm just gonna put that uh, link in there and I'll say, uh, let's just do five questions. We'll keep it pretty quick and simple there. We'll click generate questions and away it goes. So again, what's nice is it really doesn't matter, you know, what the original content is, it can be. A video, it can be an article online, it can be a Google Doc, it can be a PDF, it can be a blurb of text, it can be just a topic. You can just give it a topic and it will generate. And there we go, there it is. Five questions quickly generated here. Uh, questions on, you know, what is the interaction of living and non living things in a habitat called? What should be ecosystem? What role do spider monkeys play in the tropical rainforest? And on and on down the line. Fantastic. So there we go. I now have my five questions that have been generated. And you could just stop there. If that's it, if you're good, go ahead and publish. Uh, go ahead and publish your quiz and then you can give the link out to the students and then they can start taking that quiz. That's fantastic. That's wonderful. Having said that, we said there's a second part to the AI, which is after you generate it, you can use this menu that says make the quiz better with quizzes AI. And so we can modify the questions. So for example, we can fix grammatical errors. If we had created the quiz ourselves and we were worried there might be an error in it, it could go through and catch those. So you could apply this to old quizzes that you have in the system. You could go back and give them a little AI update as well. Um, we can choose to replace 
uh, questions with similar questions. We can add three similar questions to a question we've chosen. We can translate questions into another language. Under differentiate, we can convert questions into real world scenarios. We can reduce the number of options like in a multiple choice question so there's not as many to choose from. We can add an answer explanation. So if they get a, a question wrong, it can give them feedback to explain that. There's also the option to improve engagement by adding a theme to the quiz, adding the students' names in throughout uh, the quiz questions, making the questions fun, and again, once again, converting into real world scenarios. There's also a show all button, which will show you all of the things you can do there. So that's a neat way to be able to apply either to the entire quiz, or you could just go question by question. I just have a single question here. I could click on the little magic wand button and say, for just this question, let's translate it or add an explanation or convert it to a real world scenario or replace it with a similar question or whatever the case might be. And so we could come even here under converting, we could reduce the options. So we could just do that for an individual question. So we'll do that for this. Let's say we're going to reduce the options on this particular question. We'll apply the changes. And now there's only two options rather than four to pick from. So whether you're using the AI to build the quiz or using the AI to enhance the quiz afterwards or both, uh, Quizzes now has AI built right into the system. Now, again, we always want to talk about pricing here. So uh, everything I've been showing you, of course, is the free version. And so the free version does let you do all of that. The big limitation is how many active quizzes projects you can have at once. You can have up to 20 activities currently stored. Uh, so if you end up doing more than 20 quizzes, you know, they're going to have to start archiving off or getting rid of some of them to create new ones. Um, or again, they do have uh, obviously paid plans uh, for schools uh, that have un un unlimited storage there as well. But even with the free version, really, really nice, exciting, great way to be able to use AI with a wonderful tool like quizzes. And for all my other resources, check out my blog at controlaltachieve.com. And to connect with me, go to bit.ly slash CAA connect, where you'll find all of my social media links, email, newsletter, and more.